I met a lot of great people uh, this weekend, some I've met previously, um, you know, on Zoom calls and phone calls, but um, just being in the same room with them, uh, just solidifying those relationships and kind of um, picking those quality relationships that I want to move forward with is going to be huge for me. Um, so I would say you have to make time for these kind of events. Um, you know, I always tell myself when I, I don't have time, that's just an excuse. If it's really a priority, you'll make time. And these kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, these kind of events are, um, you know, I make time for these kind of events just because of the, the caliber of people, the ideas that you come out with, and again, just going back to the relationships to move you forward. Yeah, so um, a lot of great business connections, um, but the one person I really connected with more on a personal level um, was Alex. Um, we had a great conversation about 30 minutes ago and just connected from a personal development um, side, uh, nutrition and health side, and um, just, just really sharing great stories between him and I. And um, he's going to be moving into my neighborhood, kind of in Florida, so um, there's going to be a great connection there as well. But um, yeah, that was my biggest relationship takeaway, uh, my, new, my new relationship takeaway from this weekend. Um, yeah, very high quality. Um, you know, like-minded people usually tend to flock together. So um, these kind of events are usually filled with high quality people. And um, I know even they mentioned that they, they kick out some of the uh, troublemakers in these kind of events. So they definitely aren't shy about kind of getting rid of the riffraff and making sure that the quality people stay in these kind of uh, events and, and uh, weekends. Yeah, so what I'm trying to do right now is retire my wife from her job and kind of bring her into our businesses. Um, so kind of getting that first business for me is going to help me do that and really pull my wife out of the W-2 world and just kind of into the entrepreneurial world. Um, so it's going to help obviously our relationship and her kind of get out of the daily grind and just kind of open up a lot of great opportunities moving forward. Really great proximity. Um, I know after or before lunch uh, today, I went up to Michael and just thanked him for the, the dinner last night. Um, and they yeah, were just kind of, um, you know, talking about events and the next event and everything. So, um, yeah, real great accessibility. You can basically just go up and introduce yourself and ask any question that you want. So, um, yeah, really great value. Um, so much. I mean, the, what you just mentioned, um, definitely con collapsing those time frames, um, the information itself as far as like the companies and what to look for. Um, and then also just the relationships that are going to help me uh, move forward because I don't know every avenue of business, but I know, you know, certain ones that I can help others with and vice versa. So those relationships are going to be uh, really huge moving forward for partnerships and uh, just moving forward in, in business in general. Definitely connecting with all the people that um, I've connected with and made relationships with. Um, you know, I just moved to Florida about three months ago. It seems like everybody's moving to Florida. So I know like three or four people from this event that are basically moving in my backyard or within a couple hours. So um, I'm already setting up lunches and Zoom calls and everything. So um, yeah, really just connecting with people in my backyard and picking their brain and vice versa to move forward with, again, like partnerships and just seeing where it goes.